Hello, I'm Philip Stoughton from ID People. I'm here at the Wise Media 6th EMEA Summit in Abu Dhabi, and I'm joined by Paul Martin from Planet Retail. Paul, start by introducing Planet Retail and tell me a little bit about the proposition of your presentation that you've just given. Thank you very much. Well, Planet Retail is a global retail analyst business. Mm -hmm. We, on the one side, track over 14,000 retailers in 160 plus markets through our global retail database, which mm -hmm. is a syndicated proposition. We also have a significant consulting operation. We work with some of the largest retailers around mm -hmm. the world, the Walmarts, the Tescos, the Carrefours, but also with the supplier community, the Unilevers, the Nestles, mm -hmm. the Procter & Gambles. On top of that, the financial services and professional services community is a very large customer base for us. Mm -hmm. So any clever research you see uh, put out into the market by the leading consultancies, the data source is often Planet Retail. Right. And last but not least is the retail technology community, the right. IBMs, the NCRs, the data logics, mm -hmm. these guys will all use our service to, at the end of the day, understand retail better right. and sell more of their services into or their goods sector. into that sector. Okay, and in terms of your presentation today? So my presentation today really focused on the multi-channel environment and how retail is really changing significantly mm -hmm. at this point of time. I made a very, very clear point that retail today and over the next five years will see more change than it has done over the last 100 years. Right. And it's challenging for mm -hmm. a retailer today. The the evolution of power has shifted quite significantly in the retail and consumer space. If mm -hmm. you think 20 years back, the brand manufacturers firmly yeah. held the power. They delivered their iconic brands to the box, to the retailer, mm -hmm. who basically delivered the purchase channel to yeah. the consumer. That shifted with the rise of private label, with retailers right. developing their own brand to really, really empower the retailers and we saw a really significant battle for mm. the shelf. Yeah. Now, online has changed that and the shift of power has gone away from the retailer very firmly into the hand of the consumer okay. and the next generation today is really all about the shopper mm. and we deliberately use the word shopper not consumer because of the shopper is the individual that makes the purchase decision yeah and if as a retailer or as a brand manufacturer you don't understand the shopper and a shopper is in purchase in purchase momentum in every single different occasion of their mm -hmm. life, you will really, really struggle to survive in today's retail environment. Okay, and in terms of you know, the um, power shifting into the hands of the shopper or consumer is attractive to me as a, as a shopper or consumer, so I quite like that. But um, in terms of what impact that has with respect to technology and the kind of things that are being talked about here with respect to security, traceability, all of, all of those things. I guess the dynamic of online and, and traditional retail is, is what's changing that the most. Technology is the catalyst mm. for all of this. It's the vehicle that is powering this change. And retailers, brand manufacturers, service providers, they need to utilize technology. So technology, I would say, is, is, is not the business objective. It is the catalyst oh. that is empowering this change. And you and I, we all have our smartphones in our oh. pockets today, a couple of hundred pounds worth of equipment. It is impossible for a retailer to match that investment around technology. Oh. So a retailer needs to understand to utilize that that technology that we as a shopper all own mm. and deliver their message via the appropriate channels directly yeah. to the shopper. Yeah, and you're absolutely right. We should always look at technology as a tool. It's not, mm -hmm. it's not something that should drive our decision making as an industry. Okay, well, sounds fascinating, Paul. I hope you're going to stay and join us for the next day of the 
of the event here. But thank you for your time. Thank you for talking to me. And I hope we talk again soon. Thank you. Thank you very much.